afternoon. Um, this is Melissa coming to you from Generation Studio and Shop in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Um, I wanted to jump on here today because we have a lot of great things coming forward in this new year. Um, I have been getting loads of personal messages and I'm sorry that I haven't been able to reach out to each and every one of you, but I've had so many personal messages um, asking like where I've been for the past couple months and I'm here. I'm, I'm still good. I'm still here and it's just we've been so extremely busy that it takes a little bit more finagling with our schedules to be able to pop on here and go live. Um, but I'm going to try to get better with that so that no one thinks that I, you know, vanished or, um, you know, I'm in the hospital due to my migraines. I've had a lot of people reach out to me thinking something happened to me with my migraines. Um, still have them. <laughs> it's just my normal. Um, if anybody knows anything about migraines, you might have been seeing some things on the TV recently as far as new medication that's come out. Um, there's three different companies that uh, created the same type of drug. It's called a CGRP. Um, I've taken two of them with no help, and I'm taking my third one this weekend. Um, same type of drug, so I'm not that... Um, what do I want to say? As hopeful as I was, but I still have hope. I have to because it's the only way I can get through my days. So just so you know, I am here. I'm, I'm just as healthy as I was three months ago or four months ago. Um, I just deal with this every day. I have migraine every single day of my life. So it's just my, my normal. So, but I'm okay, you guys. Um, and thank you. I, like I said, I haven't been able to reach out to every single person that has contacted me because there's been a lot saying, hey, where'd you go? We miss you. We miss your smile. We miss you this, we, whatever. Um, so I just wanted to come on here and tell you, I'm here. I'm here. I'm alive. I'm well. Um, and looking forward to getting back on here and doing more lives with you guys. I really enjoy coming at you, um, learning side by side with you and teaching you things that if you're new to furniture painting or cabinet painting, um, it's something that I can help you with. And like I said, I like learning. I learn so much each and every day from just watching everybody else as well. Um, so that was one of the reasons I wanted to come on today, just to say, hey, I'm here. Hi, I've missed you as well. Um, another thing, a lot of people, especially over the holidays, have come in and said, when are you guys doing workshops? We put off doing workshops because we were so busy with kitchens. Um, so you guys asked, so we are delivering. I have been, boy oh boy, trying to like put workshops um, in different areas of the week, daytime, evening, weekends, where I can put them in. So I've been working really hard since the beginning of the year trying to um, do what you you guys ask. Our our customers and our clients say, hey, we'd like to come in and learn, and um, you guys used to do more workshops. What's up with that? So here's what's up with it. I'm going to go over our whole schedule. So if my eyes keep darting over there, I just did my whole <laughs> chalkboard this morning of the workshops that we have coming up. So if I, my eyes keep darting over there, um, please forgive me, but I'm going to reference that because I'm not going to be able to remember them all at the top of my head. Um, why else did I want to come on here? I, I titled it, you know, how are you doing? What you up to? So if you guys can just tell me what you guys are up to today. It's raining here really, really bad in Pennsylvania today. So it's sort of a yucky day, but I'd rather have, well, I don't know. I was going to say I'd rather have this than snow, but I like snow as long as I don't have to drive in it. Um, you could snow me in at home and I'd be perfectly okay. But we're having a lot of rain here today. Um, so what else did I want to talk to you? Um, talk to you about what you guys are up to. What are you painting? Tell me what you're painting because here's what happened. The other day I was out in my garage and because I'm doing all these workshops or getting all these workshops scheduled, I thought I do have a place, a whole big room area for my workshops, but then I wanted to put stuff in my, like I have, um, what do I want to say? I have all my workshop items, like my brushes and the aprons and you know, everything that goes along with a workshop and I usually have them in bins and I carry it out into my workshop area here. And I thought, I need a place to put that stuff. <laughs> like I didn't need another thing on my to-do list. But I ran out to my garage and I found this little hutch that is, um, it's not a real antique, like it's 
doesn't have a lot of detail on it or anything like that, but I thought, you know what, it would be perfect. It's just sitting out there, so what do we do? I asked mom, I'm like, can you help me lug in a hutch really quick? So it's a two-piece hutch, it's behind me here. Um, I just, uh, just to tell you what I've done in case you, you are new to furniture painting, um, love this crud cutter. So I scrubbed it with crud cutter and just um, a handy dandy sponge. Scrubbed that down really well yesterday. And um, today I'm going to sand it and then uh, go to my favorite, it's denatured alcohol. And I do a 50-50 um, mixture of denatured alcohol and water and wipe all the sanding dust off of it. Uh, I usually vacuum it first and then wipe it down with that. But here's where I'm coming to. Um, I'm having a struggle, I'm struggling with the colors. I, I'm doing fusion mineral paint on this piece. Um, it's, it's a shiny, shiny surface, but it's a great piece of furniture. It's nice, sturdy, it's old. Like I said, it's not antique, but it's old. It's nice and sturdy. So I'm having, I, I'd like you guys to feedback. I'm gonna start painting it today, so you guys have to give me some feedback right away on what colors you think I should do it in, and I have some choices. Um, I was gonna do Homestead Blue. I don't know if you can see that color there. Um, seaside. Ash. And that's all gonna be for the outside. One of those three. I can't decide, but if you guys can help me. And then on the inside, like I took the backboards off of both pieces, the top and bottom, and I was gonna decoupage them. But then I started thinking as much as I wanna do that, I think I'm just gonna paint them instead because when I put things in there, whether it's um, you know a project that we have coming up or like the dip my paints and things and such in there, I want them to be able to pop. So I think I'm gonna go with a light color inside. So I was either going to do pebble, putty, which they're sort of similar, or the sterling. Now I can tell you what I'm leaning towards. I do have something I'm leaning towards, but if I would love to have your opinion. Like I said, it's just going to be for me. However, usually when I do pieces just for me here at the shop, somebody comes in and wants to buy them, which is great. Um, the only piece I think that we've painted and that we could not depart with was um, our display case for the fusion mineral paint because it is such a huge monstrosity um, of a piece that houses all of our fusion and it's so big and it doesn't even house all of them. We actually had to make a stand. I don't know if you guys have been with me for a long time but we actually took a antique ladder, cut it in half and made um, another display to house the rest of the fusion paint. So that's one piece. Those are two pieces that we definitely couldn't get rid of. You hate when people come in and want to buy pieces uh, because you want to sell them, but it's like, boy, am I going to be able to get another hutch that size and, you know, with everything it has, it, it's perfect for our fusion display. So anyway, if it happens with this, I think I would probably sell it just because it's, I can always pick up another hut, you know, and then do this again and have fun painting it. So let me tell you, I'm sorry, I get sidetracked. It's been a long time since I've been on here with you guys, so I'm so excited. Um, but I think what I'm leaning towards, and um, put, put up your other stuff, but I'll, I'll grab the sticks, what I'm leaning towards. I think I'm going to lean towards Seaside and Pebble together. And there they are. Now, wouldn't they be pretty? I think those two colors go really, really well together. So I think that's what I'm leaning towards. But if you guys have other opinions, please shout them out because I'm, I'm not married to that yet. Might be in about 15 minutes, but I'm not married to it yet. So if you guys want um, a different color on there, throw it out. Homestead blue, ash, or if you know Fusion's color and say, hey, it would look great. Um, it's going to go up against this wall behind me. So it's a very light, light gray, almost has a tinge of baby blue because you guys can't see it but over on this wall going into my office with the um with the glass doors on it that color on that wall is almost seaside so that's why I was thinking of doing like seaside on this piece but anyway enough about that um today I'm going to be sanding that down wiping it down and painting it um so I wanted to go over the workshops with you guys some really fun stuff coming and some stuff that I, is not scheduled already. Now this is for people that are obviously in the area and can attend a workshop, but I also thought if you guys aren't in the area, they're great workshops. You guys could, oh shoot, I forgot to bring my stuff. Can you guys hold on one second? I hate to do this to you. 
I'll keep talking. I'm just going to run. Ah, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry about that. I knew I forgot something. I was going to bring my stuff out to show you guys of what the workshops are for you that um, you guys that aren't. I know that's a horrible thing to do to run away from when you're on live, but I forgot my stuff. It's been a while. I need to get my crap together here. Okay, so those that are in the area, here are some workshops that we have coming up. January 26th, which is a Saturday, this Saturday at 10 a.m., we're going to be doing a decoupage step stool. All of these workshops that I'm talking about are done with Fusion Mineral Paint. So here's the step stool with the decoupage on top. It's a two-tone technique. It's a great step stool. It's very sturdy. Um, so that's one of them. And then on Tuesday, the 29th, at 5.30 p.m., we're doing a stenciled serving tray workshop. So here's the, the tray. And we're just going to do the stencil and then a letter of your choice makes a great wedding gift or, you know, anniversary gift or something that you can put somebody's initial inside. But again, we're going to do a two-tone technique with that, one color underneath, another on top, distress it to bring out the undercolor. And then what is coming out here is the color I used for the wreath. Um, Thursday, the 31st at 11, we're doing painted mason jars. And... We're going to turn them into a soap dispenser and also like a dry container. You can do cotton swabs or whatever in here. You can also use it to put a Vodafone in your bathroom, which makes it really nice. Um, February, we're going to go back over them again. Tuesday the 5th at 5.30, I have a decoupage step stool again. Saturday the 9th at 10 a.m., it's paint your own piece. I am so, so excited about painting your own pieces. It, what that is, is it's a, you can bring whatever piece that you can actually carry by yourself, <laughs> not with three or four guys, by yourself in our front door. And the reason for that is just size and time. Um, we'll be going over some other fun stuff about bringing your own pieces in a little bit later. But for now, you have to be able to carry it in by yourself. Um, and then Thursday the 13th at 11 a.m., we're doing another stenciled serving tray. Now. We have some very, very, very exciting um, workshops coming up at the end of February and into March. And I won't go into those yet. Um, we're still nailing out the details, um, but I just get excited because I am, I, I'm so, so excited for, for what's coming up. I'm excited about these, but I'm really excited about what's coming up um, at the end of February. We just needed a little bit more time. So that's our workshop, guys. So those that have asked, get on there, sign up. Um, you have to be pre-registered to come. And you can do that online now. Um, just go to our events tab, click on the workshop you want, and then it'll take you right through how to pay online. Um, you can also just stop into the shop if you're in the area and uh, register that way. Or you can call us and do it by phone. So um, those are the three ways that you can register for one of our workshops. And like I said, I tried to hit an evening, a Saturday, and a daytime. Just, and it was sort of hard with our schedule um, to do that, but I plugged them in and I have them scheduled. So that's what it's going to be. And I'm gonna to try to continue with evening, daytime, and um, weekend to try to fit everybody's schedule around mine, uh, which is hard. <laughs> um, Okay, so what else? I have to get this, this painted real quick after I sand it. Oh, oh, we have something really important coming up this um, next Friday and Saturday, February 1st and 2nd. It is the second annual, annual Cha Cha Chocolate Extravaganza here in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. It was such a blast last year. We had such a great outcome. So we are so excited about doing this again. Last year we made, let me tell you what it is. I'm getting out ahead of myself. Um, the Cha Cha Chocolate Extravaganza is something we do here in town. It's not just us at Generations. There are, I believe, there's 16 area businesses right here around like the heart of Mechanicsburg that are participating in the Cha Cha Chocolate Extravaganza. And what it is, is every business that's participating serves something chocolate. So chocolate cookies, chocolate cake, chocolate cordials, chocolate dip chocolate, whatever you can think of that's chocolate, 
they have somebody has to come in when you, um, not somebody when the clients or customers come into your shop they purchase they have this ticket on hand and then they get to partake in whatever you're serving um, they come the first um, shop that you go into will um, can give you a like a it's sort of like a takeout container so that you don't have to eat everything the same day that you're now I would eat it all but you don't have to eat everything so that's why they give you this and I'm trying to think there's I know we'll be getting them and I think some other places but you can go on downtown Mechanicsburg's website and see what we're doing um, and how you know where to pick up those boxes and everything and who's all participating we are selling these tickets they're they're ten dollars a piece and it is so worth the ten dollars um, here at our shop we are doing a triple chocolate cream cheese filled brownie we did them last year and we <laughs> we um we, we, were, we were asked to do the same thing again because people like them so much so that's what we're doing like i said when our customers and clients ask we try to um we try to deliver so that's what we're doing we're delivering um some brownies triple chocolate cream cheese filled that sound good right okay so that's what we're doing that is next friday and saturday february 1st and 2nd um the extravaganza goes from 11 to 5 however generations opens at 10 so our hours are the same and we will be open till five o'clock that saturday normally we close at two but we will be open till five so i think that's everything what are you guys up to today is it raining where you are do you have feet and feet of snow i know we have um some friends that are just like snowed in um but let me know what you guys are up to let me know what you think about the colors again i'm leaning towards seaside and pebble that's what i'm leaning towards but if you guys go on fusion's website and think of other colors i have homestead blue here i have ash let me know what you think i would really like your help i don't know why i'm so indecisive today i just i just am i think i have too much going on up here in my noggin um, and trying to squeeze stuff in when I really don't have time to squeeze it in. But I'm squeezing it in because I want this hutch done. I want a place to put all my crap. Okay, I probably shouldn't have said crap, should I? Oh, well. Okay. Well, you guys, thank you so much for those that are joining with me. I can't, my goggles are here, so I can't really see you, who's on there. But I see some people are. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, thanks for being concerned about where I've been. Um, it made me feel really good that you guys... We're reaching out and again i'm sorry if i didn't get back to you personally but i'm here i'm fine i'm great um you guys have a wonderful wonderful today's thursday have a wonderful thursday and um stay in touch okay reach out if you need to reach out um and i'll help you however i can with how to prep furniture cabinets whatever you need i'll talk to you soon take care